Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so I'm in my kitchen. These were the last of the orchids that had to come in and then carnivorous plants up there. But uh, so I gotta find places for these. I was telling April Ario that I basically have a Russian orphanage going on in my house right now. I'm trying to find spots for everybody. Um, but I just want to show you some stuff that is growing on. This is a Lycast that uh, I didn't know it had a bud, and that's opening pretty, well, it's not opening, it's swelling up pretty nicely. Uh, so that'll be there. And then this little den, I got this in the summer from Giant Eagle. Oops, not going to have uh, It's a no ID. It's a little bright, but you can see it. A little shimmery, shimmery. And then also, this is the Catacetum. It's very pretty. It's uh, opened up very much, and I love the way that it uh, kind of turns in on itself. It's very, very, very pretty. I love the lip so much. And that's uh, number 5982 from SOV. The bulb didn't develop that much, but it's been. some of these have grown up so tall. So it's Karen Armstrong. Dark Darling Times, Lewis Clark, simply fantastic. So that's those. So that's for downstairs. Hold on. This is going to be my Cymbidium corner. <laughs> and I have the bandas hanging here. There's that little yellow one. And I have some other stuff right there. Oh boy, it's another jungle. <laughs> I have a little... Thanksgiving or Christmas cactus is about to bloom. All the catacetums are doing well. And uh, this fell decided to bloom again. I love this one. It is uh, no ID as of right now. The guy that bred it doesn't know what it was. Uh, but it's a plork fell. You can see some of the other stuff set up along here. Yeah. This guy just surprised me with a couple buds. So. Now, somewhere in between all of this, I am going to put the rest of the orchids that were on the table down there. We'll see how that goes. Also, I got this guy about to open. This is a Ollie Palmer. I don't know what the TR, TRT means, but I know it's called the Mule Ear Orchid, and this guy is a really good grower. I didn't know what I was gonna be getting myself into, uh, but it's just called the mule ear because of the thick thickness of the leaves, and uh, it's a really good grower, it's got roots coming out the bottom, Ooh, I should have probably drained that a little more, but uh, yeah, all the bulbos seem happy for the most part, they're finishing off new growth, uh, I have some stuff that uh, we'll see how it does, uh, but yeah, everything for the most part is doing okay. Oh, some of the dens I think I left out a little too long. They got a little sad. But, you know, that's life. And then I have this Phalaenopsis kingianum doing good. Uh, vanilla and stuff still hanging in there. And uh, another plant I got from my dad. <laughs> so, well, okay, guys, uh, that was about it for me today. You have a wonderful day. Hope the blooms uh, were pretty for you and hope the tour of my grow spaces was laughable. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh here's another bloom. This guy won't stop blooming. Will not stop. Isn't that great? So there's no more buds. No more buds on this side. But anyways, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Love you family. Bye.